In the second and final part of our In Focus report on coral reefs and extreme heat, Krista Campbell looks at measures being taken to combat the issue. Nineteen ninety eight, two thousand and five, twenty ten, twenty fifteen, and now twenty twenty three. All years Jamaica has seen coral bleaching, which is the whitening of the ecosystem that's home to a quarter of all marine life across the world. Marine biologist Chantel Green Parkins says the bleaching events are becoming more frequent and more intense, with pollution, coastal developments, and warmer sea temperatures the main contributing factors. If you have shallower waters, the water is going to be warm and it's going to hold that heat for a longer period of time. Or reef areas in Port Royal that the university researches, those are at about 30 feet of water. The reefs that we are, are doing surveys on in Westmoreland are at depth on, on average probably about 10 feet deep. So 20 feet shallower warmer waters and so the, the corals are more exposed to the warm waters and so they're bleaching more in this area. But she notes it's not all bad. In Port Royal, last year we noticed that our corals were paling and bleaching a little bit more compared to this year. Not quite sure why, even though the temperatures are a little bit warmer this year. In Bluefields, West Milan. You have different spots that are doing better than some, especially some that have more of a river exit where the water can cool down the, the sea a little bit longer. So um, with that now, we can get more rainfall, which in helps, helps with cooling down the atmosphere again. And from what scuba diver and underwater photographer in West Milan, Richard Duval, has seen... Certain reefs are growing back. You know, so we are seeing changes in the water temperature, which is aiding the reefs to flourish again. And we are also um, doing our part in terms of frag farm farming and planting but little bits of coral, which are affected by even the heavy rainfall and the, the, the surge underneath the water will tear down some of the, the natural corals itself. But amidst predictions for hotter temperatures in the coming years, there's a program to replant coral reefs. Right now we're using corals that are good for the temperatures now. But maybe in a few years, they may not be as hardy to the warmer waters that we may expect in the future. And that is now where we have to look at other corals. They may fragment healthy parent colonies, parent corals, and then you all plant them in areas that need help. What we're doing now is looking for the corals that are a little bit more hardy, a little bit more resilient, standing up to the warmer temperatures and incorporating those into our restoration practices. She's also proposing the establishment of temporary and permanent marine protected areas similar to what's been done with fish sanctuaries. If you identify areas that are bleaching more, we can potentially put in place regulations that help to mitigate or stem some of the impacts from the other stressors and give that reef some time to bounce back. So those are some of the things that we have been doing and some of the things that we can be a little bit better on. Krista Campbell, TVJ News.